Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about some updated products that I have been using in the Korean skincare realm, what I've been thinking about them. Before we do that, be sure that you enter my 400 subscriber giveaway. It is gonna be going on for about another week and I will link um, up here so you can see all the products that are in it. I showed them in the first video I did with them, so check that out. The giveaway link will be down in the description box. And just a couple housekeeping things before we get started. So this desk situation is for a couple weeks is gonna be um, back and forth because coming end of the week and weekend, I'm gonna be gone out of town for a conference for my job. So um, I wanted to have some things ready to go and then I'm sure when I get back, I'm gonna be exhausted and have three kids to take care of. <laughs> so I probably won't get to filming or editing for a day or two after I get back. So I wanted to have things ready to go, but I also want to say, um, so going through some of the comments uh, since I started the giveaway and just the comments throughout my time I've had the channel, and I was seriously sitting at my desk, like so overwhelmed with gratitude for you guys. Um, it's amazing, like this is just amazing. and. I am so grateful for all of the subscribers that have joined since this giveaway and all of you that have been here um, along the way. And I just want to say thank you so much for spending part of your day with me and watching my videos, subscribing to my channel. It really means a lot. And I'm just glad that I could do this giveaway for you guys. So uh, also in the comments, I've been noticing you guys are commenting on my eye looks a lot. So I do a lot of eye looks on my channel, but I don't do all of them. And to be honest, I really do a full face of makeup every day. <laughs> I just love playing with eyeshadow and I think it'd be weird to have my eyes done and no makeup on. <laughs> uh, granted, my full face of makeup is not like a heavy full face, so there's that. But if you want to see some of the eye looks that I do on my channel that I don't actually do a tutorial on, check out my Instagram page because I pretty much post every eye look there. Currently, um, a lot of the ones that you've been seeing this past week or so have been from the Flamingo palette because I'm doing the 10 looks one palette on my Instagram page. And this one is actually row two. So for five of the looks, I did each row. So sometimes with palettes, I just kind of like to give myself a little challenge to see what I can do with them. So um, each day for five of the days, I'm doing a different row on my Instagram account. And then I also try to mention the other products that I use on my eyes there. So that will kind of give you more information on my eye looks if you are interested. And thank you for commenting that you like them. Doing colorful eyeshadows is one of my favorite things to do. And I am glad that someone gets to see them and love them. Beginning <laughs> of the channel, my Skincare Tuesday was really explaining the different steps of the Korean skincare line. And coming up will be my full 10 step process for night and daytime. So you guys can see how I go through that. But I have been trying some new ones since I posted those other videos. So I just wanted to share what I've been thinking of them. So first I wanna talk about, oh. All right, so first let's talk about this Claire's Deep Black Cleansing Oil. This is not a new one per se, but how I've been using it is. I used to have a cleansing balm. It was the E Moringa, E Nature Moringa Cleansing Balm, and that one was way too sensitive for my eyes. I got this one, and it doesn't sting my eyes at all. I ran out of my cleansing balm, so I've been using this all over the face. I don't like it. It works great on my eyes. I will continue to use it for my eyes, but I am going to be placing cosmetic love order, and I'm picking up two different cleansing balms to try. The problem with this is it just doesn't emulsify well enough to come off your skin when you wash it. So with the cleansing balm, it gets all the makeup off and then I use my cleanser to cleanse out my skin. My cleanser has been getting off the oil in the makeup and not cleansing out my skin. And I don't know what the deal is with this. I use warm water, um, I don't, it's very weird. So then I go to do my cleansing toner and I end up having to use the cleansing toner three different times before I get all my makeup off. So, I mean, I'll use this until I get my new cleansing balm, but this I don't recommend for your full face first step cleanser. Then, 
I got this Aloe BHA Skin Toner from Betton. I got this off of Amazon, and I'll put links for everything down in the description box. But this one, I just ran out of, I ran out of a CosRx one that I was using, so I picked this one up. This I used during the daytime. I really like this one. It has been very hydrating, and what I also like about it is it's got 0.5% of BHA. So a typical BHA treatment, which is salicylic acid, is 2%. So with a 5%, it's a gentler one that I can use daily and in the morning. So I just kind of keep it cleansed out because I wouldn't use a 2% one during the day. That would make my skin too sensitive to the sunlight. Uh, so this I like, I just feel like I'm getting that constant deep <laughs> exfoliation from my pores at a very low level. So it's more consistent instead of, um, you know, a BHA 2% that you would use maybe two times a week at night. And I have been noticing that my pores have been clearer and I haven't had as many blackheads. So um, I think that's something that would be good to try, some kind of 0.5% BHA that you would use daily. And then I also use a 0.5% BHA one at night that's from CauseRx. So I've been liking that. And that I think was under $10, so good deal. And then I've got two serums that I guess they're ampules, two ampules that I've been using. This is the CosRx Blemish Ampule, Centella, with Centella Asiatica. Uh, you can tell by how much is left that I really like this one. And I just use this, if I notice some breakouts, that's when I'll start using this one at nighttime and it seems to keep them at bay. And this one I'll use two or three times a week at nighttime and it just delivers like an intense dose of moisture with that snail mucin. Um, I guess I should say what this is. This is the Myzon Snail Repair Intensive Ampule. So it helps with wrinkle care and skin repair. And it's made of 80% snail secretions. So that just kind of helps repair, bring a lot of moisture to your skin. I think those are around $10 too. So really good deal for a serum or an ampule. Remember an ampule is a thicker serum. I'll link some of my videos. Um, up here of my different skincare things where I went through what the different steps are. I broke them up day, like each individually based on the different steps of the Korean skincare routine just so I could go more in detail with them. Then I also picked up this Snail Repair Eye Cream. Uh, I haven't used this one a ton, but what I've used, I liked it. It's very lightweight. I thought it was gonna be really thick and sticky. It's actually really lightweight, but hydrating. So I've been liking that. And this, oh my gosh, you guys. This is the Canadian Clay Pore Cleanser from Neogen. Uh, Neogen is also who makes those biogauze peels that I have in the wine, the purple ones that I love. And this product is like, it's a bubbling clay mask, very gentle. You keep it on for five minutes and you can hear it start to bubble, but it's something magical because some, I'll get a lot of bumps like right in here, just of clogged pores and right around this area. After I use this, they are, I can barely feel them. So, and I'm gonna be doing a full review on this product and showing you guys in the process of it so you can see more about it, but I love it. I actually got this on the SoCo Glam website and it was a special deal, buy one, get one free. And I'm so glad I did because I will be using that up. And I just have two more things. One of them is the Innisfree half sponge cotton pads. Uh, with these, so they, it comes 80 to a pack, and I think they're around a dollar or so, maybe two dollars. So these are the sponge ones that I like to use for toner, and I like these. I don't tear them apart, it's too thin. So it comes like perforated right here, but it's really too thin to perforate and use for your toner, so I just keep it like this. And what the sponge cotton pads do is they don't suck all the moisture out. They help to deposit moisture back on. So you don't use as much product when you use these with your toner. So I really like these for that. And the last one that I have, oh, and these are Innisfree. These are from Innisfree. And the last thing I have are some Innisfree. I don't know where my other one is, but I've been trying out these Innisfree it's Real Squeeze Mask. This is the cucumber. I think I used a green tea and an aloe one. These are 63 cents on the Cosmetic Love website. 
they're amazing and they deliver so much hydration and moisture to the skin and they've got so much extra essence in them. This is probably the best one that I have found at the 63 cent price point so far. Uh, I have some more from different brands that I haven't tried yet, but I really like these Innisfree It's Real Squeeze Masks. Yeah, so I'm actually in the process of placing another Cosmetic Love website, and I'll be buying some things for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which hopefully we will get to before too long, because in that one, I'll be putting in some things uh, that are my favorites. And you guys know what one of those things are. The Cosrx Pimple Patches. I've already got one of these picked up for that. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notifications when those giveaways do pop up and for all of my other videos and enter that giveaway. And thank you guys so much for being here. I'm so grateful for you guys. Don't forget to like this video before you leave and I will see you in the next one. Bye.